Decide 2012, the race for the White House is heating up, and one of Mitt Romney's big supporters is U.S. Senator Marco Rubio. The Florida Republican joining us now live this morning from the Washington, D.C. Capitol Rotunda. Good morning, Senator. Always good to see you. Good morning. Good All right, let's see talk. You guys. Thank you for being with us this morning. One of the big debates, as you know, in Washington right oh, now pleasure. is the Bush era tax cuts. Talk to me about where you stand on these tax cuts and what needs to happen. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, it's important for people at home to understand what we're talking about. We're talking about what the tax rates are right now. And the, the richest people in America right now, are the, the ones who pay the highest taxes, pay 35% of the money they make. That means 35 cents out of every dollar they pay just in federal income tax. That doesn't count Medicare, Social Security, and all the other taxes. The Democrats want to increase that to over 40% when you add in all these other things uh, that are coming in, all these other new taxes like the Obamacare taxes and increases on other, other, other taxes as well. Here's the problem with that. And there was a study that came out last week. A lot of the people that pay that highest rate are really small businesses. Yeah, and I'm talking about small to mid-sized businesses that make about $250,000 a year. Uh, the local dry cleaning shop that employs a few people, whatever. Here's what happens. If their taxes go up by that much, there's a study that just came out by Ernst & Young that says that 700,000 people are going to lose their jobs and other people are going to see their wages cut. This is bad for our economy. That's the fundamental problem. And here's what's worse. It doesn't solve any problems. Raising taxes on people making or companies, small businesses making more than $250,000 doesn't do anything really to solve the debt problem. So, so this is my stance. I oppose it. I oppose raising taxes on anybody, particularly in this environment where the tax increases Barack Obama wants do not solve the debt and hurt our economy. Senator, the president, you brought up small businesses. They've taken a lot of flack over the last couple of days about the comments he made about small business owners and not building that themselves. What is your response to what he had to say? Well, look, I think he's honestly telling us how he feels, and I think it's important for us to have insight into how the president views the economy. I have always said that this president and the radical left-wing elements of the Democratic Party do not believe in the American free enterprise system. They never have. And uh, they don't admit that because the American people won't support them. And, but, but, but that's how they've always felt. And I've always said that consistently, and now we're seeing that come across in the, in the speeches that he's giving. He doesn't fundamentally believe that if you're watching this program today and you spent the last 20 years getting up at 5 5.30 in the morning to build up your business. He thinks that you owe it to the government. That's outrageous. And the majority of Americans disagree with that. They know that isn't true. They know that the government most of the times has been an impediment, not an ally in building up their businesses. And I think they're going to remember that in November. Uh, there's a rumor going around. I don't know if you've heard it, but there are a lot of people who believe that you're going to be the VP pick. I, if I'm the first to tell you, I hate to break it to you. But I, I know that uh, the, big, the big news <laughs> yesterday was the Tea Party coming out and saying that you were the guy they would most like to see Mitt Romney pick. What are your thoughts about all of this. Well, as always, I'm always honored by the support I've always gotten from Tea Party groups across Florida and across the country. But as far as the vice presidential process is concerned, I made a decision a few months ago not to even discuss it anymore. I think that's the right approach for Governor, for fairness to Governor Romney. I can tell you one thing for sure. He's going to make a great choice, whoever he picks, because he's always made good decisions in his whole life. And everything he's ever done in his life, he's made good decisions. And I'm sure he'll make another great one now. All right, Senator Rubio, always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Mm -hmm.